Hi everyone, I'm the Web Guru and I do tutorials on video, audio, and photography. So be sure to subscribe and leave a comment. And here inside of Premiere Pro, I have created a simple motion graphic. And I would like to export this on a transparent background. And in the video world, a transparent background is often called an alpha channel. And so right now, I actually created it on a white background, so I have to remove that. And so here in the timeline, you can see I have a background clip. I could delete it, or simply I'm going to hide it by clicking on this little eyeball button. And now the background has become black, and this is actually a transparent background. And you can verify that by clicking on the little wrench icon in the program monitor and choosing Transparency Grid. And now you'll see this white and gray checkerboard, which represents a transparent background or an alpha channel. And now we can export it. So you can click anywhere inside of the timeline to select it, and then go up to File, Export, Media. This will bring up the Export dialog box, and a very common format is called H.264, which will generate an MP4 file, but this will not support transparency. So we need to choose a more professional format. Um, and the one that I like to use and is very commonly used is called QuickTime. So I'm going to choose QuickTime. And then inside of the preset menu, there are several that will work. One of my favorite is Apple ProRes 4444 with Alpha. The key is that it says with alpha, which of course means transparency. Um, another good one is GoPro Cineform RGB 12-bit with alpha at maximum bit depth. Um, that's also a good one. Uh, but for this video, I'm going to choose the ProRes version. And then the key is to go down to the Video tab, and I'm going to scroll down, and I'm going to select Render at Maximum Depth which will increase the quality of the file. And then inside of the depth menu, I have several options. There's an 8-bit per channel plus alpha. There's also a 16-bit per channel plus alpha. So I'm going to choose that one because this will be higher quality. And of course, you want to choose an option that says alpha. And then I'm going to select Use Maximum Render Quality. And to choose the location of the export, you have to click on the output file name and then choose a folder for your export. And then finally you can click on the export button. And now the file has been exported. And actually one thing that I did previously is I exported several versions of this graphic. I did an H.264 version, which is the MP4 file. You can see it's only 1.2 megabytes. And this is for a three second file. The uh, GoPro Cineform version went up to 37 megabytes, and the ProRes version is actually at 64 megabytes. So these files are very high quality files, and they can also be very large. And now the next step would be to import this into Premiere Pro, which I've actually already done. Um, and now I'm going to add it to another timeline. And I have some background video here, which are just some clouds and I'd like to overlay my logo on top of it. So I'm going to take my ProRes file and add it to the timeline. And now you can see that it is on a transparent background, so we can see the background video. Now, in contrast, if I tried this with the MP4 file, it's not going to work because all of those transparent pixels have become black, which is not the effect that I'm looking for. So I'm going to get rid of that. And now hopefully you can see the value of being able to export with a transparent background. Now you can overlay this over top of anything. So uh, let me know if this uh, worked for you or if you have any questions. Uh, be sure to leave a comment and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. And in the meantime, keep learning and growing.